What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Draft 2 Glory. In the last episode we went for a full Brazilian draft, or not a full Brazilian draft, we took every Brazilian player that was there um, and it was a good draft. We won the draft, we got a really good reward, we made some good profit, I was very very happy. You guys on that video smashed over 7,000 likes once again. If we could hit that 7k mark, dudes, I would massively appreciate it. I, I know it's coming towards the end of FIFA for some of you guys. I'm thoroughly enjoying FIFA 17 right now. Put a, put, put a 1 in the chat. It's not Twitch, but put a 1 in the comment section if you're also loving FIFA 17 still. The top comment from yesterday's draft was, Net for the next draft, pick players only outside of Europe. I assume this means outside of the European leagues and not outside of the European nations because we literally just did a South American nation. Um, so that's not going to be easy. That's definitely not going to be easy. But we'll give it our best shot. It's very likely... Um, what do we want to go with? Let's go with a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. It's very likely that we're going to get only European players. For example, right here. Five European leagues. Obviously, we could pick Costa... Or Dybala for nation. Um, I'm not sure. Like I say, like this has over 300 thumbs up for a comment from Sergio. I don't know if he means outside of the European leagues or the European nations. So what I'll do is I'll take outside of the European nations, and we'll see what we can get. Um, we'll build. We'll try and build like a South American team, I guess. Oh, I mean. Maybe we'll make this the Argentinian draft, dudes. I might change based on getting uh, Dybala and Higuain to start with. I tell you what, this is going to be a full Argentinian draft. It's just so, in the next one, in the next episode, so literally the episode you'll see Monday night or Tuesday, uh, if Sergio or anyone in the comment section could clarify what you mean by players outside of Europe, because uh, you know, outside of the European leagues is going to be exceptionally difficult. However, oh, oh, oh. Um, however, outside of the European nations would be relatively easy, except for the fact that we already did Brazil and now we're doing Argentina. So we've got a perfect trio up front to start things off. Uh, 95 Higuain, 88 Dybala and 88 Icardi. Perfect start. I don't know how many good Argentinian centre mids there might be. There are none. So what we'll do is we'll take... Let's take this guy. Uh, we'll, we'll take... I could take Brozovic. Oh, sorry, Bedelj. Or I could take Vorma for rating. This Bedelj card is actually quite good. I'm going to take that Bedelj card. There we go. So that's our first centre midfielder. So I'll take Calcio A if there's not Argentinian. Apart from I'm not taking Asamoa. I will take Verratti. He is Italian anyway. So we've got a chance to get some links. But I'm hoping that we'll get a full Argentinian draft here. It's just not going to be easy. Felipe Melo would be the one that we throw in at the CDM spot. Come on, give me some, give me that Tagliafico team of the season guy. Nothing. Do we have Calcio A here? Yes, we have Dream. I mean, it's it's not too bad. It's not. Too, I mean, the draft in itself is actually alright. Like I, I quite like this Badelj card is quite well rounded for a draft as well. Medium, medium. Uh, nice four star weak foot. So he's got some uh, pretty good stats about him. Can we get an Argentinian defender? No. So now we're going to have to take Miranda, which is great actually for chemistry because he gets that perfect link into Felipe Melo, which will help uh, massively with chemistry. Next up, no Argentinian goalkeeper again. No Calcio A goalkeeper either. Bravo, Navas or Leno? Let's go Leno. We, we, we might get like a Boateng or a Hummels here. There is a Calcio A player there. He would also get a soft link to uh, Verratti. We'll, we'll take him. I would prefer Argentinians. Ooh, the Barcelona version of uh, Nelson Semedo. I'm actually going to take him. No, I'm not. Maybe I am. No, I am. We'll take, uh, we'll take Semedo. Not a bad start to the draft, dudes. I feel like it's a little bit more intriguing than the Brazilian draft. We, interestingly, we've actually got two Brazilians. So after going for a full Argentinian draft, we've got three Argentinians only. That's not ideal. I will still continue. Like, hopefully a Messi uh, shows up. Um, Thiago, maybe? No. Cal oh, we'll take Licksteiner, of course. And then we'll put Licksteiner in there. That'll give us a little bit extra chemistry. 
Uh, yeah, what, what can we get? Messi, Di Maria, Zabaleta. Hey, Rodriguez, there we go. So we'll take Rodriguez. He's very difficult to link. We'll, we'll link him after, dudes, because uh, I might have to play him like midfield or something. Um, we get a Neymar there. See, Abate wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad because he would get a link with Verratti. I'm going to take that 98 Neymar because I'm going to need him as a sub. Next up, come on, give me some Argentinians. Hey, there we go, Angel Di Maria. Not the most ideal. We'll throw him here. The reason why we'll throw him there is because he does get a soft link, uh, sorry, a hard link to Verratti, which gives Verratti a, a nice little uh, chem increase. Of course, I wouldn't plan on playing Di Maria at right back. That's that some good players there. Let's take Iniesta. We've got Iniesta and Neymar. We've got to see this Rodriguez card is going to have to go in. At least he gets one link now. How many Argentinians do we have now? Five. What did we get for Brazil? We got ten Brazilians, didn't we? There are, like, Willy Caballero would be good here. Not doing, but I will take uh, Gianluigi Buffon. He'll give us a nice little chem boost back up to 91 chemistry. Not so bad. What other Argentinians could we get for defence? None, according to uh, EA. Um... I'll just I'll just take rating here. We'll just go with Danny Rose just for rating. It's 88 rated, 91 chemistry. Brazilians are coming out in full force right now. I'm very tempted to take Alexandro. He's just a very, very, very good left back. Obviously he gets a strong link into Miranda as well, which doesn't make any difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, but isn't the worst. The, the only players off chem are the, the, the three, three on the right-hand side. Interestingly, I've got nearly as many Brazilians now as when uh, as when we tried to go for a full Brazilian draft. Can we get one or two more Argentinians? Silver in there. Not interested in him. I'll take him because of rating, I suppose. Our attack is actually decent. Our defence could be uh, could be the big issue here, um, especially if the game throws up uh, a curveball. Because if I get like a Messi here now, I have to take him and I have to use him. I didn't even get one. I don't think I've ever never seen Messi or Ronaldo pop. Did Ronaldo pop? I don't think Ronaldo popped. Who's our last pick going to be? Wow. I don't think, dudes, I saw Messi or Ronaldo at all here. Hmm. I might take Ben Arthur on this one. Um, I want to see what the, what, what the difference is. That's 90. Verratti makes 91. That's also 90. See, I might... Uh, like that. Verratti wouldn't be so bad at right back, right? Just a little lacking pace. What chemistry does he get there? Three. If I can get an Italian manager, four. Uh, which would be all right at right back. Di Maria is a bit of a shame on three. Yeah, I'd rather start them like that. Three and seven. Di Maria's on three anyway. Obviously, I have to start the Argentinians. So, how many Argentinians did we get? One, we five dudes. Messi didn't even pop. I think we actually got more Brazilians naturally. What did we get for Brazil? One, two, three, four. We got four Brazilians. That's crazy. Only five Argentinians popped. Doing a team like Spain would be quite easy, I think, just because of how many Spaniards and such there are. Um, this draft isn't, like, it just genuinely isn't very good. I don't think I've ever seen, dudes, I don't think I've ever seen a draft where Ronaldo or Messi haven't pulled. I can't remember who my captains were. I know I took Dybala. I can't remember if Ronaldo was there, but we definitely didn't see Messi, I don't think, <laughs> um, this whole time. Um, but this is going to be our team. Now, for a manager, lit like... An Argentinian French League manager would be ideal, but a French League manager would be the best. We don't even get an Argentinian. That's 92. 93 on the Italian. I guess we'll take the Italian manager. It takes up to 93 chemistry, bros. This isn't a bad team. Uh, what we've got that's positive about this team is the ability to change. Um, so, Felipe Melo isn't bad, but isn't the greatest. So, I think in-game... If we're struggling to, to win the game, Verratti will go down into CDM. I don't, uh, may, maybe Bedelj will go down to CDM, actually, because he's nice and tall. Um, Melo will come off the field. 
and then potentially Iniesta or Neymar will come on um, to go into one of the midfield roles. Or we could throw Di Maria into the midfield role and bring on Nelson Semedo for right back, which could also be a, a, a good uh, you know, opportunity to improve the squad. However, I'm quite happy with this team. Um, it's not it's not the worst. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go and get into our first game. Hopefully we can win. I will be right back. Okay, guys, as we get into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 98 chemistry, 87 rated team. Some nice players there, Dybala, Aguero, Lewandowski, Thiago, uh, PK, Smalling, Azpiliwili, Rico in goal. And then some pretty poor players too in Pereira. Um, and James Milner, not bad earlier on in the year, but not so good this time around. And I actually conceded the first goal quite early on. Marcelo, who he brought on as a sub, he made all three subs immediately. Threads it through to Aguero. It was a bit frustrating goal to concede because Marcelo just completely bodied off my midfielder. I don't know who it was. Uh, but the, the through ball was nice and, and the finish was very clean. I did manage to get back into the game a mere 10 minutes later. Dybala threading through uh, Verratti here. Verratti steps inside, gets it back to Dybala. Sorry, Di Maria, not Dybala. And Di Maria on that weaker right foot slams that one home. Quite a nice finish from me. I then took control of the game. Bardelj into Neymar. Neymar playing a 1-2 with Di Maria. Gets in behind, shoots and scores to make it 2-1. Honestly, I thought at this point it would be a clean, easy sailing. I was, I was generating some nice concrete chances, not really taking too much. But I got myself 2-1 up. However, straight from kickoff, the inevitable happened. My opponent runs through here with his player. I tackle him with Di Maria. I then get tackled by my own defender. And he just hits a banger, a worldie, a wonder goal with Aguero. And he ties the game up at 2-2. Quite a frustrating way to concede, but... If one kickoff goal wasn't enough, here's a second. I've just kicked off myself. Neymar threads it through. I don't know how Dybala made that pass the defender, but he made that pass the defender and slots it nicely underneath the keeper to make it 3-2. However, I conceded yet another goal. Here is Hazard going through. Uh, you can see I'm controlling the defender that's marking Hazard, and I'm controlling him very, very badly. A nice goal from my opponent. Really clean finish past my goalkeeper, Buffon, and just generally a well-earned goal. You know, it, 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 it's not even that he outplayed me. He just, I, I was just horrific defending and then a nice finish from him. I did concede a fourth goal. Another unfortunate goal. I think his second goal was very fortunate for him, very unfortunate for me. Uh, we'll show them a little bit more in detail after the game. And at 4-3, uh, you know, we're getting late on now. This guy started shielding it in the corner and just generally trying to hold possession. So I went to... Uh, a bit more of an ultra attacking or all out attack stance. He got down the right hand side and again, just some really bad defending from me. Um, and, and he managed to create a good opportunity there and put a nice ball past uh, the goalkeeper. So I ended up losing that game, guys. First, first, first round loss in a very, very long time, sad days. Uh, you can see there my goalkeeper made three saves, his goalkeeper made seven. I wasn't really fussed about the, the, the game. You can see he had a bit more possession. A lot of his shots were from pretty bad areas. Uh, a lot of my shots were from like the really good areas right in front of the goal. I was just not unable to take my chances, you know. Um, but his second goal, this, this goal here with Aguero, look at that, a run in, get tackled by my own defender. All my other defenders are just not even paying any attention to the ball and run away from it. Uh, the ball falls back to his Aguero. I don't have time to kind of like gather myself and uh, he hits the ball into the back of the net. So I was a bit uh, disappointed to concede that goal. Uh, this goal was fair enough. This was just a nice goal from Hazard. Like I said, poor defending on my part, but a really, really good finish from Hazard. And then this goal, I believe to make it 4-3, was quite frustrating. Defended it quite well, got the interception in. It falls straight to his defender and unfortunately into the back of the net. So a first round exit, my dudes. Sad times. I, I just couldn't get to grips with this team. That, though, is going to be the end of the gameplay. Let's get into the packs. All right, guys. So we go out in the first round in today's video. I haven't had a first round exit for quite some time. I, I just couldn't get to grips with this team. Uh, I did feel like a couple of my opponent's goals were very fortunate, uh, specifically the one to make it 2-2. He tried to shield me uh, and was shielding the AI guy. So with the guy I was controlling, I just walked in and picked up the ball. And then the AI center back came and tackled me with the ball. Then it fell to him and he scored. And then his fourth goal, I think, um, to make it 4-3, uh, he he took a shot. It deflected off my defender perfectly into his path. And I, I know that second one is just FIFA. The first one was mad frustrating to make it 2-2. But I held the lead at 2-1 and at 3-2. I could not get to grips with this team. It just wasn't clicking. Have you ever used a team, even with good players, where even like you know you use like a, a a bad team or a team that you're comfortable with, and you're like, wow, this team just feel fits me, it feels right. And then you might use like a super team, and you're like, damn man, I just can't get to grips with this. That's what this felt like. I did make changes quite quickly on. Uh, I swapped Bedelj into CDM. I put Di Maria to left centre mid, 
and then I took on Nelson Semedo for Melo. That's how I started the draft, uh, like pretty much after kickoff. I did have, although I scored three goals, I had quite a, a few good chances. My keeper only made three saves. It looked like my opponent outplayed me uh, in terms of uh, chances and possession. And the possession was because late game, he started just shielding it in the corner and holding it, which is fair enough. I, I completely understand it. Um, the, the shots, as you would have seen from the shot map, were a lot of long shots from him. And in fact, my keeper only made three saves, whereas his keeper made seven saves. Um, and, I, and off that, some of my shots were poor shot choices. Let's make no bones about it. But I had a couple of chances, one with uh, Icardi and one with Di Maria, that you just expect to be goals that weren't goals on this occasion. With that being said, I'm not for one second suggesting that I felt like I deserved to win that game because I didn't. My opponent, he did create quite a lot of good opportunities. He was countering me very, very well. And uh, frustratingly, he, uh, he got the, the lucky bounces his way this game. Whereas I didn't really get the lucky bounces, uh, you know, uh, in, in my favour. And uh, he, he thoroughly deserved to beat me. You know, I, uh, like I said, I just couldn't click with his team. It just didn't feel... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if it's the work rates, the, the skill moves, the weak foot, the players themselves, the chem styles. It, it, I just couldn't really function properly. I, I, I think my pass accuracy was like 78%, which is one of the worst it's ever been for me. Usually I'm like 88 to 93% pass accuracy in general. So for me to be as low as 78%, I, I don't, like I say... No, no, nothing else can be said other than this team just didn't click for me. It just didn't didn't really work. So like I say, we haven't finished in the first round for a very long time. Uh, today's episode, we lose 5-3 and we get a draft token. Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? That is literally what you want. When you lose in round one, this is the reward you want. Because there have been times where I've won the draft and not made profit. I've lost in the, in the final, in the semi-final and not made profit. Today... We don't even win one game and we make absolute profit. We make guaranteed profit because not only do we get a draft token, which is worth 15,000 coins, of course, we get to discard the remaining items for 183 coins. So with match coins as well, we made about five to 600 coins profit guaranteed this draft. Uh, what are the promo packs? Rare mega packs in there. Wait, was there no time limit on that? Is that just some rare mega packs in there? It is. They've just put 10 rare mega packs in there. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, so I, uh, I I couldn't be happier with that. A, a horrific performance from me in the first round winds up with me pulling a draft token. There's some of the players that sold. We're nearly back up to a million coins now as well. Yeah, it winds up with me pulling a draft token, making profit. I guess that makes up for it a little bit. This though, dudes, is going to be the end of the video. I'm looking forward to the next draft. I'm looking forward to see the team that we pick and uh, what what you guys or what the specific comments are meant about outside of Europe. I'm very much looking forward to that. But this was the Argentinian draft. It was very difficult to, to do it because there wasn't enough Argentinian players. We got five out of 23 picks. But this, guys, will be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.